Savior. There are other things going on in my life, but I choose to make God. Magnify the Lord means not to ignore whatever you're going through. It's to make Him bigger. As they went, God calls their enemies to hear a noise. And they thought it was a chair. They thought it was the people of God coming to destroy them. So they ran and they left. They thought they heard the armies of the Lord coming, so they ran and left. Hey, can I ask you something before I close? Can I ask y'all something? So here's four lepers. They're walking by faith. Their enemies, who's the army, hears the noise of the army of the Lord, and they run. So when the lepers get there, all that's left is food, gold, silver, clothes. They just favor, blessings. All right, so that's not the point, but that is. But if you're an army and you hear an army coming, why would you run? I'm almost done. Dixon, I'm almost done. If, you, if I'm an army and I hear an army coming, why would I run? This is what I train for. This is what I've been waiting for. Kind of like firemen. Firemen, if there's any firemen here, sometimes when you start, you just play spades and phase 10 all day because you don't get to do what you train to do. I know you happy when you hear that bell go off. You be sliding down that pole like this. You be happy because you get to do what you train to do. So here they are, here the sound of an army, and they run. Why are they not excited to do what they were trained to do? Because it wasn't a regular army. They thought it was the army of the Lord. The enemy, I feel something right here. The enemy fears the armies of the Lord. You represent the people of the Lord. Do you hear what I'm saying? So, in my closing, Exodus chapter 1, verse 8, says there arose a new king over Egypt that didn't know Joseph. He said, look at the people of God. They are stronger and more than us. Let's make them slaves. We all know the children of Israel were slaves and they came out of Egypt. But how did they become slaves? Because the new Pharaoh was scared of them. Right. So he put chains on them and he put bondage on them. So the enemy binds who he fears. Right. I wish I wasn't here all day. The enemy binds who he fears. So bondage is not always a sign of weakness. Bondage is sometimes a sign that hell has marked you as one that intimidates the kingdom of darkness. So, oh, I feel like running in here. You make the devil scared. You shake hell off. That's why you're so tempted. That's why you struggle so hard. That's why chains and bondage try to stop you because you intimidate hell. Look at somebody say the devil's so scared of me. That's why you're molested at early ages. Yes. Yes. To bind you when you're young. 